G'day, g'day. Welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on YouTube by Hannah. Mm. She says, my mom thinks McCreamy's funny. Oh, is that good? Is that good? Or... I don't know. It depends. I appreciate it. Is she a milf? Is she hot? Depends on the mom. Yeah. Depends on yeah, what her definition like, of funny what, is. Yeah, Can, what her humor mm, is. Yeah. Can but... they get back to us with photos yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and you know, and just like her three moves. best jokes. Yeah. Hannah will send in a photo, a couple mm. photos of her Can we do mom. that? Rate my mom. We'll is that a podcast bit? Rate my mom? No, rate, rate my mom. Rate my mom. <laughs> rate my mom. That's what I said. I don't know what you heard. Is that like a Freudian slip there? What's going on? Freudian slip? Never. Jay's here. I'm here. Obviously. Yeah. And I'm funny. And what are you known for? He's the funny one. Yeah. Matt's here. What's Matt known for? What am I known for? He has an Apple Watch. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so do you. We also have Toby on the titties. Yeah, I'm here. Toby's here got and titties. Swagger Souls. Hello, how are you? He's short, he wears chain mail, and he's got a great voice. Hey. Sometimes people compare you to Howard Stern. How does it make you feel? Dude, I don't see it. I, I think he's, he's got like a more sultry voice. I get compared to Alan Alda, too. Who's that? He's Hawkeye from the show MASH. If you're over the age of 30, you probably know what MASH is, <laughs> yeah. but if you're a Zoomer <laughs> or a millennial, <laughs> maybe not so much. Yeah. But yeah, I get compared to a lot of people. I remember remember when we first started out with like Counter-Strike and shit in like 2016, 2017? Uh-huh. Everybody said I was War Owl. Everyone said <laughs> really? I sounded like fucking War Owl, who's this... He, he's, Greetings, he's, I, yeah. the War Owl, well, greet you. Yeah, we used to take the piss out of War Owl all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. But it's just because <laughs> people wouldn't fucking stop mentioning him. Yeah. Mm. I but, get like um, the same sort of thing, but it's like I get told that I look like The Rock, and it's, I don't know. It's dude, like, I kind of see it. I yeah. kind of see yeah. it. Right? Like, I mean, I kind of get it, but... Fuck, I think guys. you might be a little bit too dark, yeah, to be honest maybe, with you. Maybe. You're a bit too tan. Mm. Fuck. Why? We didn't say that fits his hair. Oh, I'm here as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, I often get compared to like a Greek statue of David. Yeah. Um, that's that's little, little, little David. Little di- yeah, a little bit. Which David? <laughs> it's Dave. He's Dave got a Chappelle. really small penis, but <laughs> boy, is his body good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'd take a tiny dick to be a chiseled like that, bro. You, Easy. You, 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 He's you'll literally take a chiseled. tiny dick. <laughs> no, I would. Ta- <laughs> you, you, you just say you'd take a oh, tiny I dick. Want that. Gotta yo, phrase that better, dude. Yo, yo, just so everybody, everyone on the same page. Matt just said he'd take a tiny dick. A tiny I mean, dick, to though. be fair though, if you're gonna take a dick, a tiny dick's probably. You know, the, the, well, where's the fun in that? Yeah, I guess. Let's There's no challenge. If you want to take a dick, challenge. probably don't want to take a tiny one. But if you don't want to take a dick, tiny one's probably ideal. Size doesn't matter, guys. I play okay. my I play my gay six on expert mode. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> expert difficulty. <laughs> expert difficulty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I am already on new gay plus. <laughs> new gay plus. Yeah, new gay plus. Yeah, that's when OG Mudbone sticks his dick through a glory hole. I'm just unbelievably concerned by this conversation. <laughs> fundamentally lost. Can't, can't believe it. What, what are all these terms? Like, the I don't know. OG mud boat. OG, OG mud, mud, boat. mud boat. That's a very, OG. very old term. Yeah. What's a mud boat? OG mud, mud bone was just the name of this guy with a huge cock. Oh. An abnormally <laughs> large oh. phallus. It was like Could so big me. that it yeah. just looked like Hollywood special effects. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. We have Jamie pull that up. I wish we came could like a fire that hose. <laughs> yeah. Fire hose. Fire hose. Um, guys, guess what? What's up? What? Perseverance has landed on Mars today. How crazy is that? Oh. Let's Congratulations. Fucking That's go, Elon Musk. What, uh, what is thing, the, right? I didn't hear anything about that besides it landed. What's How the deal with huge, it? Huge. Okay. Okay, it's a big deal. Huge fucking, I mean, kind of big deal. It, it's the rover that they're sending to uh, scope out uh, extraterrestrial life. So they're looking for like fossilized microbes or fossils or whatever. Mm. Uh, they're in the, the the name of the crater. I think is Jurassic. Ger- what, what was Jerusalem? There, there was water found like yeah. There. It was there and were, beneath like, it, they believe that like that's most likely that there's going to be any proof of life on Mars. Yeah, so there'll oh, be fossils okay. in the be, you know, material like, beneath the crater. Yeah, like Big apparently news. there was running water over there like a billion years ago. So, Some mm-hmm. insane amount of time. So yeah, um, how, yeah. how long is this this fucking little guy been traveling through space for? A long um, ass time now. Fuck, what is it's it? It's a long trip to Mars. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking. I want to say I want to say like a couple because the, the journey is. I can look it up, and I'm pretty yeah, sure it's a multi year thing. I know the journey is. It's every two years they have a window to shoot out uh, a probe to Mars because that's right. when Mars's orbit is the oh, closest right, to Earth. Right, 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 right. Um, so. I, I want to say they did it two years ago, but I could be completely wrong. It, it, I, I know the journey takes... Seven months, roughly. Yeah, seven months. Okay, so did it wasn't you, quite as long as I did thought. Did you remember, I think I was in second grade at the time, but did you remember when they launched the satellite to go to Pluto? 
Yeah, they said it would take yeah. like ten years. New Pluto Horizons. doesn't exist. Yeah. New Horizons. Pluto's a dog. Yeah, they launched it when yeah. Pluto wasn't even was a planet, <laughs> it was a and it just dog. fucking wasn't. <laughs> no, that was crazy in those Poor pictures. Guy. But Perseverance is the name of the rover. Fucking wild. They have um, they have a, a, another uh, kind of like. I want to say robot. It's a yeah. helicopter. What the fuck? Uh, it's a drone. Now. It's, it's right. like essentially a drone. That's big. Uh, it's this helicopter. It goes extremely fast because the Martian like no atmosphere air. is so, who the, is so yeah, thin. Yeah, who sat there and calculated, okay, the air is this dense, so we need blades. Oh, to some, 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 job. Yeah. Fuck? some fucking nerd. Yeah. But <laughs> nerd. <laughs> we got, we, we, you know, now we have this little thing that they'll deploy and it'll fucking just fly around Shit. and scout shit out. But it was That's a really sick. big deal. Uh, it, it, it happened today. Um, the, the it went through uh, what is known as the seven minutes of uh, of terror. Oh, yeah, I heard that, of that. So, that sounds terrifying. So the thing is, it it takes like it, it's it takes... like an eleven minute delay yeah. from when you receive the signal from Mars because it's so fucking far away. Mm. Um, so they they have to have this uh th- this fucking rover the size of an SUV. Yeah, uh, go in through the atmosphere with a heat shield. Shit. Uh, and then the heat shield detaches and parachutes uh, deploy and it slows down to about two miles Holy an hour fuck. from like, like a, I think I am paraphrasing, but it was like, you know, a couple thousand yeah. kilometers an hour yeah. uh, entering the atmosphere. And then the yeah. parachutes deploy, it slows down. But the thing is, when it's 66 feet above the, uh, uh, above the surface, yeah. um, th- they have this thing called the sky crane. Which is it's like a, a rocket that has four thr- four thrusters, yeah, and it shoots out so it hovers and then it deploys the uh, the How rover the with with that? these like like cables. Yeah. So it, it it lowers it down while it's hovering and Jeez. then it detaches and then the then the thing flies off and it's it supposed to crash like far away from the from the rover. Mm. Okay. It's a whole but, process, like a multi-step process. And it, and it happens in seven in seven minutes yeah. and it's all autonomous. The so fuck? they had to wait for seven minutes, seven minutes like to be crazy. like, um, is it is it there? Did it land? Is yeah. it okay? Did it crash? Bob. And, uh, and it waiting. did. It, it did it. it. Yeah, it, it, it hit the ground completely fine, and they, they, they sent a picture. They took a picture yeah. uh, with a little, little lens. Good on you. Yeah, yeah. Like the Uber Eats driver. Your package is here safely. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> like, it wasn't just a couple thousand kilometers per hour that it was traveling at. It was traveling at 24,600 yeah. kilometers per hour through space until it got to Mars. That's pretty fast. Then it had to slow down and undergo this process. And obviously, a, a whole bunch of people had been working on this thing for yeah. ages. Wild. So, like, mm-hmm. you can imagine what a nail yeah. biter would be like seeing your Anxious. baby like this is a huge like it's going to take a long time to get something else over there so yeah. it's, kind of, it's kind of a good especially something that sophisticated <clears> the <throat> instruments sick. that they have like the work that they're going to be doing over there yeah pretty good oh, so good on nasa man like what do you dude. what do you think of the argument guys the argument that people say with like why are we going to mars why the fuck are we going to mars when when we have to focus on the real problems that earth has why even fucking go, like? Why bother with Mars? Like, why send money into Mars? Money why waste the money? Why not? I, mean, I don't think people realize here. how little amount of money it actually is. Like NASA, it's like a drop in the fucking bucket. Yeah, you look at like military uh, spending, and then NASA's like the tiniest sliver. NASA's like what a percentage of a penny? It's like half. Yeah, it's like, it's like half a penny or, or less. Yeah. Damn, it's actually really cheap. I should buy that. Yeah, for like Fuck. to get a half a penny? perseverance on Mars. That sounds mm. pretty lit. Honestly. For half a penny. That, that's Fuck. a that's a fucking Dogecoin, bro. Yeah, that's a Dogecoin. Do you have to a, disclose we own Dogecoin? I don't own Dogecoin. Don't I give own any Dogecoin. more investing yeah. advice on the podcast. Guys, yeah. I own Dogecoin. Yeah. Buy Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you state it, you're okay. Yeah, I don't know. I like that we're we're like going out. You know, I feel like it's a massive universe to explore. I feel like yeah. it it Why does. Not explore it? Yeah, I feel like it is a service uh, to humanity yeah. to explore the you know the other celestial exactly. bodies in the solar system and find life like even if there's nothing i think it's still just like cool just answering the question are we alone or mm-hmm. what is the process and understanding the nature of like our reality and our existence is yeah. is is meaningful i uh, i uh, philosophically you know, you know, a, a paradigm shift. Yeah. Also, Earth's gonna fucking die, so we need yeah. somewhere to live. It's literally <laughs> just exploring your options. It's, just, it's like it's a smart thing to do. Like if I, you're on a if you're on a planet that's kind of shit in the bed a little bit, you're gonna be looking at your options. You're like, yeah. all right, what yeah. else is there in the solar system? Yeah. Just because yeah, we're exactly. married to Earth doesn't mean we're not gonna fuck Mars on the side. <laughs> Dude, I I I hate 
I forgot what I was going to say. I hate the fact I hate that. that I forgot what I was going to say. Like in other scientific discovery, and this is actually like kind mm. of a big deal, Matt found a dildo in his apartment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. a discovery. That wasn't even this apartment. That was like when I moved in a year ago. Yeah, you never told us about it, though. Oh, fuck. I've, I've got photos. We'll have to throw it up on screen or some shit. But yeah. yeah here's, a, here's, a, here's a photo of this big black dildo. <laughs> here's a photo of Matt's and, 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 and handcuffs. And handcuffs. So I moved in. Was it used? Hang on, just let him tell the fucking story. <laughs> Probably, honestly. So, did you smell it? No. <laughs> did you try it? I would have well, smelled yeah, it. Yeah, obviously. You know, give it a whirl. Like before you throw it away, yeah, of course. Of course. But um, yeah, I moved in. They charged me the cleaning fee and everything, like clean everything. But went into the bedroom and it was sitting inside the closet and like the top shelf. So I was like packing shit away. I was like, oh, hello, what the fuck's that? I like get a little ladder, look up. I'm like, oh, click. What the fuck? <laughs> I like but, um, how your first instinct is to take a picture of it. Yeah, I want to show you guys. I'm like, yo, check this shit out. Yo, check the, yo, look check this dildo out. That's totally me. not mine. <laughs> guys, guys, look at this. <laughs> yo, that's guys, crazy. What the fuck? It was just, just a cover. There. It was just a cover. Yeah. It was just well, a if cover. I had one, I wouldn't fucking show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I fucking, I saw this thing. I'm like, what the fuck? It had like, this is like a pretty big, you see a photo of it. This is like a pretty sizable that's black like a, dildo. That's a 12 it's, inch, bro. It's, it was right a big there. dildo and handcuffs it's, too. It's a self defense weapon. It's a bludgeon. You can fucking have. Mm. Yeah. But like the fucking apartment owner, I was getting their mail and it must have been like some old little Chinese cunt that had the place. Old little Chinese <laughs> cunt. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of picture are you painting for us here? Old, <laughs> the last thing I want to think about when I'm driving to work on my Monday morning is an old little Chinese cunt getting fucked by a 12 inch dildo mac. Could you use better vocabulary, please? <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's not wrong, but. <laughs> and you know, it's a little, it's 70 years old, it gets oh droopy. My oh my god. Oh, okay, oh nah, that's Oh my god. Yeah, saggy, fuck? saggy pussy lips. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, what an Wait, how do you know they were old, though? I don't know. It's just a guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how do you know they're they Chinese? Owned an, they own an apartment because their mail came in, mate. Oh, it I was, was like getting her old mail. It was in it. Chinese. It was probably yeah. the previous own tenant, yeah. not the owner. Mm. Yeah, you sure? could have been either way. I would yeah. assume so. I don't know. Look, either all we know way, is there's that a that fucking twelve-inch know... black dildo at my apartment. <laughs> all we know is that the Chinese, in. the Chinese were behind it. That's all we know. The black dildo in his apartment. It was China. First COVID. First COVID. COVID nineteen. Black dildo. It's this China is dildo. It's classic American <laughs> response. Just something on something happens. Fucking China. <laughs> Wait, so it was a dildo and handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. Full little metal mm. handcuffs and everything. Would you let? Would you guys let a woman handcuff you? Yeah. No, then they just reach into my wallet and take all my money. And okay, leave. that is that is trust issues. <laughs> uh, about being arrested. Yeah, that makes no, sense. I mean, like, uh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. Try everything once. I think no. it'd be fun. I, I would only do it if like the handcuffs were like comfortable and fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't want it. I don't want yeah. like pink too, so you don't lose you them know, in the dark. You know. I, I don't like. I don't like uh, being hurt. <laughs> so you know, mm. I don't want it fucking my wrists. Yeah. Just being, you know, like that. Actually, you know, I wouldn't mind like being put on a rack. <laughs> <laughs> And like stretched out, then I could get taller. Stretch it could out. decompress my spine. I could gain like a couple of inches oh both ways. God. Yeah, as yeah. well. I think it would, it would kind of be high. Oh my god. Maybe get whipped. Maybe get like a like like, like a like like a like you know like a really hot uh, bucket. Right. Like, we get it. You're medieval. The, the okay, chainmail and the knight yeah. cosplay is starting to make a whole lot more sense mm, now. When I started taking sense. hormones, I put on a rack. Oh, yeah. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of grew a rack. Yeah, so, so to speak. Yeah. How's it? How's it treating you? Uh, it's uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Are you lactating yet? No. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? What the fuck? She's not pregnant. All you said you were getting sick the other Holy morning. Though. Oh, maybe I'm pregnant. Oh shit, oh, dude. Shit. Morning oh. Maybe there's a little baby Think growing like the, in my dude. lungs. <laughs> How convenient would it be, dude, to just lactate? Just I'm thirsty. You're... Oh, into, into, into a cup. Gamer girl it's your breast own. milk. It's your Gamer own, it's your breast own milk. breast milk. You can we, sell that. Would you not drink shit. your own no, breast milk? I would Probably rather drink some Gamer Subs. Uh, uh, speaking yeah. of which, we have our new flavor coming out. Maybe, Don't say what it's called. I'm, I won't say what it's called. I think they can see it. But it's All coming right. out very soon. Probably this weekend. I'm going to have a sip and, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll describe the flavor. It's okay. called fucking delicious is what it's called. It tastes like... It tastes like weed. 
Yeah, does it really? It could be because I drank it through the balaclava and yeah. I smoke weed through this very often. Mm. <laughs> and probably that. I, it's probably that. Or it's the flavor. Maybe maybe it's weed flavor. You never know. Maybe. You it never know. Great. Well, you'll find out when it drops. So keep your uh, ears Keep your ears peeled for keep that one. Keep your tongue right. <laughs> <laughs> ears, ears peeled. Keep your, eye, <laughs> keep, your, keep your eyes open and your ears peeled. Bitch. Mm. Bitch. You better fucking keep your eyes, bitch. The Misfits podcast brought you as always by Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs um, on Code Misfits, 10%. Guys, quick question. What? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Uh, my alarm. Does mm. it actually get you out of bed, though? It wakes it you does. up. It wakes... does. The first step is waking you up. That's what yeah. the alarm does. So, what gets you out of bed, though? Well, for me, I had the iPad which is my alarm clock next to my to my fucking bed. Lamborghini. And <laughs> the fuck rich cunt. No. It's oh, not a Lamborghini iPad. Like, yeah, well, it's a no, no, I have the iPad for like drawing and shit yeah. a while ago and I'm like, oh, I can use it as like a little alarm clock. Wait, so like is that exclusively what the iPad is for now? No, no, I still draw okay, shit with good, it. Okay, good, But um, we're getting sidetracked. Sorry. It, it'll, it'll turn on, I'll wake up half asleep, I won't even remember, I'll turn it off, I'll go back to bed. So now I had to move it into my, into my en suite, I had to move it into my bathroom so that when I wake up, I have to get out of bed and yeah. walk into the bathroom and I'm like, oh, well, the shower's there. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what gets me out of bed. That's Interesting. Good. I don't know, I've never had trouble just getting out of bed. Really? Wow. Yeah, no, I've never had trouble with that. You, you just get up immediately? Yeah. Like wow. You don't linger just, in bed? No, nah, like sometimes when like you're just feeling like that, but I've never had trouble like getting out of bed. I've never mm. been like, fuck, I just can't do it. I I'll hate it. I'll linger in bed have, if like, I have my like phone next to me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, char- As I like, you can't charge it on like a nightstand. I like throw it at the other end of the house to charge it. Otherwise, if you like wake up and it's right there, you just grab it mm. every time. Yeah. That's mm. why uh, I used to, I've got, there's two bathrooms in my house. There's an ensuite and a normal bathroom. All right, flex. Yeah, big flex. Uh, but I didn't. Sh- I would never shower in my ensuite because I want to like leave my room mm. in the morning. Mm. It's Interesting. Makes no sense when you think about it. But I wonder like how your day would go if you just as soon as you woke up, alarm goes off, you just immediately get up and just start walking out the front door, walk down the street in like, my underwear, in <laughs> your underwear. Just keep going for and a just mile keep going. Time. Just keep walking uh, for a whole day. Like, yeah, see what happens to you. Person. What kind of people would you pick up along the way? Would it be like a Forrest Gump moment where people are like, hey, look at this guy working? In. Walking with such purpose, I'm a, I'm a follower. They probably yeah. think you're like some creature here in Melbourne out the night before. No, that comes on meth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. what I think. I'd be I like, don't know. You'd, you'd, you'd be, yeah, you'd be all over fucking Twitter. You'd be arrested too for yeah, yeah, underwear, probably. Yeah, I guess probably, just the, it probably. really just comes down to how hot you are, probably. Yeah, if you're like <laughs> sexy you're, as yeah, fuck, yeah, man. If you're really sexy, you could pull it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah people would be like, yeah. "Ooh, look at the sexy guy walking down the street." It'd look like whoa. It'd look like a deer almost. Yeah, I feel like a deer, not like the animal, but like a deer. D a r e. Oh, that's how it's spelled. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Oh, he's lost a deer. Yeah, he's lost a deer. Really, what an adult would think? Maybe that's what I'd think personally. I'd be like, "Oh, look mm. at this guy." It's mm. like, it's like when I fucking bleached my hair, yeah. and I, losing the odds on, and I had to go get uh, the fucking toner, and I walked in with the fucking hat on, and I took it off. I'm like, "What do I get for this? How do I make this not look shit?" And the lady just goes like, "What did you do?" Starts throwing like, up. What, what do you, like, what did you do? I go, "I lost a bet." She goes, "She goes, yeah, I, I thought so, because that's really that's really badly done." I was like, "Thanks for your honesty." Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think bitch. I think hairdressers get that a lot, where people come in with fucked up hair and they say yeah. I lost a bet. Yeah, mm. probably. I went to a barber once and said I lost a bet, and he was like, "Yeah, it happens all the time." Really? Did yeah. you actually lose a bet, or were you just as a cover up for you? No, I just had really fucked up hair. It was when it was like multicolored. Uh-huh. I remember it was that. like green, blue, oh, pink, yeah. red. It was fucked. Oh. It also looked <laughs> that the barber's floor looked sick at the end because it was just so many different colors oh. all over the ground. Green was that was that the same? Did you get that around the same time that Mason dyed his hair red? red. It was, I think right? so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I oh, I'll never forget Furby Mason. I no. wish. <laughs> That's so funny. I wish he kept it, dude. That was, was a, a look, look and a it half. Was a look. He looked like every time I watched it, I am vlog, like we caused to ride, oh, and, it's, so and it's his hair slicked back <laughs> and fucking red, and he's sitting in the chair with his beard. Like, he looked like such a boss. Very Dr. Seuss character. Yeah, he dude. Does, he does. He looks like a who. <laughs> <laughs> back then, I was dying my hair like every few weeks. I'm surprised it's, it's alive. I know. I'm surprised you have hair. Yeah. Would it you was, ever go it bald? Was, it was pretty fucked. Would I ever go bald? Yeah. Like a Britney Spears type beat. I don't know. It depends. I, I guess like I would do it out of curiosity mm. and see what my <laughs> head shape is. And then if it looked good, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> you yeah. would like skin I, bald. I <laughs> yeah, I would never go skin bald. There would, there would be something there. Yeah. Well, I never go bald either. 
Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to shave you. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to shave you. <laughs> Gave me head to toe. I don't know, dude. What do you I... reckon is the best way to raise money for for your school trip? <laughs> Def- <laughs> <laughs> Def- Def- <laughs> definitely tag uh, YouTubers on Twitter with yeah. the GoFundMe. Yes. That, that works all the time. Because <laughs> yeah. The reason I thought of this is I was about to say how much money would you need uh, to shave a man's back, like a, just an old man's back. How much money like, would you need? Yeah, and then I thought about it, and I was like, I mean, you could just do it as a, as a fundraiser to raise money for your sports oh, trip. Oh, a fundraiser. <laughs> to, is that what you're doing? <laughs> what? No, no, I was just... Why was, would you think about shaving an old man's back? <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. I, I don't know. I was just thinking about it. I wonder how long it would take to it shave a man's back. It does sound satisfying. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. It, 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 like if it was really hairy? Oddly satisfying. Do you, ever, you know how you go to the barbers and they'll give you shave and it's like nice and relaxed and shit? No, I'm with constant tension and fear that I'll get my throat slit. Like oh. Sweeney Todd. Well, some yeah. people like it, so like the, the back's mm. just bigger. You can do it for longer, you know? Mm. I watched this TikTok of this guy that was doing ASMR, like, barber shit. Mm-hmm. He was like, look at this. And and uh, he was shaving really, really badly. And at the end, he just had so many little blood spots. He was like, why the, the fuck, fuck did you do? Yeah. Did you make this video feel that shit at r- shaving? Man, he's just like, all right, guys, yeah, he's some more. He's like a close up of the, of the razor against his skin. And he just cuts it like a slice of cheese, just like a whole chunk oh. off his cheek. Oh. And you just hear like the blood dripping no, and the, and the no, flesh no, tearing. No. Oh. The screaming. Nah, no oh. screaming. That's what makes it so good. I mean, could, could you cut <laughs> out. Yeah, you say some more. Could you cut out where your hair grows from and then stop it from growing hair? Like, like kind of the follicles? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. deep in there, I'm pretty sure. Pretty yeah, it's follicles, like really follicles deep. go a little bit in. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm. Mm. Yes, hair do be crazy. Hair yeah. do be kind of crazy. crazy. He's out here growing. <laughs> <laughs> was that a glitch? Yeah, that was a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was some like fucking Skyrim. The both the <laughs> guards are the same, same line. It's tapped into the same consciousness. All right, one word at a time story going uh, clockwise. I... And and what way does a clock go? Is. Are you fucking dumb? Yeah. Oh, I gotta watch. All right, cool. I got it now. I got it now. I got it. Right. I got it. Right. Sorry. I am going to pee where I want to pee because <laughs> this is not a good time to pee myself because I'm from America. Yeah. <laughs> 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 America, America, hell yeah. Dude, God bless America. Oh, you, you, you just gotta celebrate that. Land of the free, best country in the world. 100%. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually undebatable. It's undebatable. It's undebatable. Undebatable. We have nuclear weapons. It's almost mass debatable. Mass debatable. Almost. Mm. But that's just him. Well, yeah, of course. And God bless America. And God bless Jesus. And God, bless God isn't real. Isn't Jesus God? <laughs> No, what? God is Jesus. I mean, God is Jesus' dad. Oh, this is so confusing. Jesus is the son of God. <laughs> anyway, I, <laughs> I watched a documentary about North Korea the oh, other, yeah. the other oh, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit's so crazy over there. It's so like... I know, it's such a fun time. No. Everyone, everyone's, everyone's partying and... They look so oh, happy in the photos. Yeah. They're, all, they're all skinny and fit. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like a very look, nice they, place. They, they really like their leader. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell, tell, tell us more about how good, great our generous leaders in North Korea. Like a propaganda. No, no. It's, it, look, it looks crazy over there. It's so isolated. I was watching a. I, I think it was a Kiwi dude. Oh yeah. And mm. yeah, it was his whole like trip and stuff. It was like really Wait, shit over he there. He went it to North shit. Korea and they let him film it. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. And it, like, they, they had sure to... it wasn't South Korea. That no, doesn't no, no, sound North like North Korea. Korea. No, but North like, Korea. It was have to stay with. He was people. with a yeah a tour guide the whole time, and he could only like take um oh what's God. it called videos of certain things. Oh. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, delete that, delete that. Yeah. Unless they had a really bad tour guide. Yeah, because North Korea is really good. <laughs> yeah, I can't Prince imagine. B. I can't imagine a Kiwi guy and would be like, "Yeah, hey, Kim G, how are you doing, <laughs> Kim, Kim G, Kim, <laughs> Kim G?" Yeah, no, it looks. It looks so what was what was weird about it? Um, you, with the videos, one example, you have to have the um the leaders in frame at all time, and it's seen as disrespectful if you've only got like half of the minute. Well, mm. yeah, of course. I mean, so we wouldn't want to not show him. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's crazy. Courtesy. It's crazy. Wow. And there was this dude, Otto Warm Beer. Have you yes. guys heard about the yeah, case of he him? Yeah, was, he was tortured and murdered. Yeah. Where? Crazy stuff. In, in North Korea. And that, was, and that was for, taking, like for taking a propaganda yeah. poster and trying to keep it as a souvenir. Yeah. 
Well, what did that. he expect? Yeah. yeah, but like, what? The I mean, fuck? like, you'd expect it's to not find, his. you know, you would you'd expect <laughs> to find, or you'd expect to talking yeah. to, and maybe like, like get a band oh, for the country. Yes. You don't expect to get your, you know, get your head stomped in oh, uh, until yeah. you're <laughs> you're brain damaged. Yeah. You're so in a soft. coma. Yeah, you're so fucking soft. This is why you couldn't you're, live in you North could Korea. That. You wanna, this is why your country's the way it is because you're not hard enough on your citizens. They'll never learn if you just <laughs> give them a slap on the wrist. You yeah. gotta torture them. Yeah. yeah. It's fair enough. Fair enough. 15 years of hard labor. Do you hard you labor. Do, do you reckon you could do it? Um, I you mean, have to be erect for 15 years <laughs> and work. I think I might just be able to do it under the right conditions. As long yeah. as our generous leader was in my peripheral the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I would have no yeah, 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 yeah. whatsoever. 15 years, so be it. I will gladly work. Uh, so I, I read this fucking thing. Uh, North Koreans are tied in school, and it's like a systemic thing. Like, like a like they're tied <clears throat> prejudice <throat> against like Westerners. Yeah, um, I think so. They, they are literally tied in schools. Like the only way to eat, the only good way to eat is with chopsticks. Yeah. You just you know it's precise. You, you control your portions, and they and they and they teach about how in the West, if, if people use forks. But they don't call it a fork. They call they it can, a mouth shovel. It, they call it. So it's a. They call it. Yeah, they call it. They call it a, a pitchfork. Pitch really, it's, it's, pitch a, it's a pitchfork wow. because wow. like it's like they're shoveling shit into <laughs> oh into their mouths. <laughs> mm. It's yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy how like isolated it is, and compare it to South Korea. Mm. It's like unreal. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've got yeah. all those those get great music and they yeah. have, they yeah. have they, they forks. stand a bunch. They have forks I, in South Korea. I heard in North Korea they uh, at the start of the day they make you pledge allegiance to the flag. To the flag. Yeah, it's fucking weird. That's so weird. That's so, so weird. Whack. I bet they make you sing the national anthem as well or something. <laughs> That'd be gross. <laughs> That's so weird. That's creepy. I bet they like love Jesus or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I wonder if Kim Jong Un has ever read the Bible. Maybe no. someone should go over there and, no. and show it to him. No, he's never read no, it. No, it's like so forbidden to have any religious texts. Really? Are they yeah. are they atheist? Oh, it's because no. like Kim Jong Un is meant to be the god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I heard he doesn't I pee or poop. What it was, but dude, what a shitty god. What a, I, mean, I don't know if they see him as no god. Involved. I don't know if they like see him as like a like a god but he's nah, just like he's the that's, well, they're, yeah they're, the leader but they see him like well they're tied they're tied weird, that the weird. people from the, the like the, the the un dynasty or whatever yeah or like descendants from like a mountain oh, fucking really? moon kingdom from that. like and, like demigods almost yeah. like demi lovato yeah, yeah. yeah. wow but without the heroin but, i was gonna uh, say yeah. that exactly yeah. But like Korea in general, no, don't, they, don't they have a lot of heroin there? No, because like, they don't no, have spoons. No, no, no spoons. spoons. Oh, no yeah, right. He doesn't yeah. want chopsticks. He can't heat up heroin on your, your portions. <laughs> um, no, Korea, Korea in general, I think this has a stand problem. You know, the yeah. South are standing. You know these. Idols, these teen pop <laughs> idols, and then the North was standing the Un Dynasty. It's yeah. <laughs> sort of just like a predicament of being Korean, dude. Yeah. I would and love the Western to... world loves standing too. So mm. I would love to stand Jesus. I would right. love to see. I would love to see North Korean Twitter. I would love to see that shit. <laughs> fan like, cams of Kim Jong Un. Fan cams of Kimmy. <laughs> well, remember when like everyone oh said that God. Kim Jong Un was a vegetable, like and, and oh, that he I had a fucking that. stroke or whatever yeah. the fuck, and then mm. everyone was Psych. like, everyone was beaten <laughs> off over his hot sister, who's apparently. Apparently, like fucking four times worse. Wait, wait so he wait, had a stroke what? and then wait, everyone started whoa. having a stroke? Whoa. <laughs> Kim Jong un has, a, un has a hot sister? Apparently. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm if, looking up his hot sister. I don't sister. know. I mean, look, 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 oh my look. God. Hot is subjective. If you're in, yeah. if you're into like you know matriarchal fucking dominating, yeah, point a finger at you and sentence you to death. Kind of woman. Like you to come. Probably really fucking high. Yo, Imagine. That hot as, and yeah. she's, she's she, like, she should stretch you. You know, she's like, you know, she's hot. Well, enough. out of ten, out of ten. She looks a little hungry. Out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Chapsticks, dude. <laughs> Control know, your true, portion. True. <laughs> this is. We're gonna get in serious trouble with. No, uh, no way. No. Uh, dude, maybe, we have a large maybe. North Korean audience, dude. Mm. Are we gonna do a vlog? Are we going to North Korea? There is no way I'll ever go to if, North Korea. No? Like, no way. If Kim Jong Un invited us personally to North Korea, he's oh. like, "I love your podcast." Yeah. Uh, I've seen, I've like, seen one episode like, in particular. Like, like, the, yeah, we were just sarcastically. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, I love, I love the Poland story, and he's just like, "Oh, great!" And he's like, oh, "While we're staying there, he listens to this one." Yeah, he's just a really chill guy. Yeah, he's just out of his depth. Yeah, he's friends with Dennis Rodman. Yeah, mm. he's Who's he's that? friends with uh, 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 Dave Franco 
and Donald Dave Trump. Franco? Is it Dave and or Seth is it Rogen? Yeah, and Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not friends with Seth Rogen. Yeah, Dave yeah. Franco drove a tank with him. Oh, Sick. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie. Are you talking about James? It was a documentary. James oh, James. Sorry. James Sorry. Franco. I was going to say. Nah. At least it's, at least it's not Philip. Nah, heaps yeah. of countries yeah. are cool. Like, they're cool. I don't have anything negative to say about it. I've just, I'm just basing, um, I've seen stuff. And that doesn't reflect my opinion. You saw Jessica in North Korean prison right now, right? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't want to get twice I stuff, and I love North Korean. I love, no, I don't. You read what's on the corner. Yeah. So <laughs> just, blink, North blink, Korea, torture, very good. <laughs> blink, blink torture and Morse code. Oh, oh yeah, I saw fuck. a video of that as well. Yeah. That what is Morse yeah. code? How do you do that? Like, beep, 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 Beeps. How's yeah. it beeping? So like it's a uh, it's like a radio signal, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's a language that they it's, devise it's, to it's, communicate secretly yeah. without actually sending messages. It's no, like encrypted. It's, right, no, right, right, right. It, it, it was before the the telephone was invented, and mm. the, the only way to send messages they had lines that you know a transatlantic line uh, that was down for telegraphs. Yeah. Where in the, you work a telegraph, you have a lever and you push it down. And you could tap it, and then that's a dot, and then you could hold it down for like half a second, and then that's so like a, a dash. Line, right? And then sequences of dots and dashes make up letters and words. That so, sounds way too like hard. Yeah, bro. I would just say it normally, normally bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was like it was like uh, you know back then it was instantaneous. Why why deliver a letter that will take three months maybe True. on a boat to go across? Fucking when you email can just, it. Do, 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 you know, yeah, it was kind of like the original like TikTok duet. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Like, yeah, one person would say something and another person would chime in. Yeah, what do you do? The yeah. guy in the other line just won't shut the fuck so up. He's still yeah, like, he's like beep 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Little boogie. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> okay, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> what an the original TikTok duet, or as others might call it, the original conversation. Oh, conversation. Which uh, too. that's what we're having right now. Conversation. Welcome yeah. back to the Misfits Podcast, where we have incredible conversation. Incredible conversations. conversations. Where um, we converse about North Korea. What other than North Korea? What other countries are kind of not that epic, but also great? <laughs> yeah, because um, of their like, incredible leaders. Like, because we can't say anything bad about countries. So Somalia. Like, they, all right. Uganda Somalia. was pretty bad, right? They had that. They had that one genocide. There's been plenty of genocides. Yeah, that's, around, that's true. Right? Genocide. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a genocide. Are you really a country? Come on. Ha, Grow up. I guess that's true. Most a lot of countries have genocides. Yeah, I mean, I took genocide when I first saw Kiss. What? <laughs> <laughs> that I don't understand. That, that like, was uh, fun. Actually, incredible. That <laughs> was that was good. <laughs> it took genocide. <laughs> it took genocide. Wow. Genocide. Wow. I, I, there's yeah, a guy in dumb. Kiss called Gene Simmons. Gene wow. Simmons. Okay. I took him aside and what do you say to him? Uh, I just said, I like your tongue. Looks like, yeah. <laughs> Looks like long. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of your tongue. <laughs> he's got he's got that long tongue. Yeah, well, they all yeah. do, don't they? Kind of. did it, did I don't know. Did they surgery for that? Yeah, kind of I, see, I, see. I don't know. I, 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 was, I, he, I was watching a video of it. it. Just like he opens his mouth and it like comes out and then he closes his mouth and it goes back in. But I was like, it must, it's some mechanism that like, makes it roll out and then roll back in. It's really cool. Mm, Autobots. So when his mouth is closed, you can't see his tongue. Mm. You know, like Autobots everyone else that out. lives. Mm. Huh. Michael wow. Jackson's uh, smooth criminal thing where he does the lean was yeah. fake. Yeah. Well, no, not fake, but it was like a mechanism in the floor. Yeah, they had like shields sticking yeah. up and he yeah. would, like, he'd, like dig his feet into the right spot yeah. and then get lowered and then back up. Like and back that. up. Yeah. Crazy yeah. stuff. Very cool. Very, Very cool. Interesting. Also, children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look, it's not allegedly, 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 allegedly not proven. And you know, as, I love, I as love that Chappelle saying says, allegedly <laughs> children makes yeah, it any no, better. It's allegedly, yeah, like, allegedly we don't know. It's it's alleged. Alleged. He didn't do it. It's Look, alleged. as as Dave Chappelle, one of my favorite comedians, said about Michael Jackson, you know, like, you know, it's not proven that he fucked those kids, yeah. but even if he did. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's, like, he's Michael Jackson. It's Michael Jackson. Like, you know, like, come he's on. Michael, he's pretty fucking famous. Come on. Like, he also <laughs> held his own child over a balcony. Blanket. Yeah, and, and named his child Blanket. Mm, well, he named his child Blanket? Yeah, yeah. Blanket. Come here, Blanket. I, I, <laughs> I, was watching this, um, I was watching a video of Michael Jackson uh, in, like, this old antique store. Uh, just buying everything? Just buying everything. I've seen that. And there was, that. like, like multi-million dollar, like, like, all these vases and urns. And he was like, I want that one. I he want didn't that actually one right want there. that one. I want that one. That one's nice. Look at this one. It's lovely. And the, the, <laughs> the guy who owns the shop is just like the entire time. Oh, my no God. He's way. buying every like, 
I mean, who knows what these urns are actually worth, but he was I, selling them for a high price. And Michael was like, I want them. I want them all. I like urns. I'm obsessed with <laughs> yeah. urns. That's a, that's a like, really interesting video. He literally just walks through a mall and just mm. points at shit. Yeah. And yeah. then someone buys it for him. We're so we already got that it. one. No, okay, I want that one. Bro, Crazy shit. If yeah. you have that much money, what do you even do with it? Like, how much money did he have? I wonder. Like, he had. He was in. It. Like, was it like billions? All, no, no I think not it was, billions. It was like he probably had five hundred million. Probably five hundred million. Yeah, yeah. half a bill. Yeah, he was up there like four fifty mil. I'm pretty sure. Damn. Maybe more. I mean, he he, he was, was and perhaps still is like the biggest yeah, and greatest pop the king star. Of pop. Yeah, like, I don't know. Literally. Have you guys heard of Bruno Mars? Oh, yeah, five hundred million. Yeah, Peter Hernandez. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's real. The weekend. <coughs> the the weekend. weekend. Oh yeah, yeah it him, sounds him like Michael well. Jackson. Yeah. I mean, okay, <laughs> conspiracy theory time. Did you hear the story about all the unwritten songs that he had? Like he had a hard drive of like thousands. Which one, of Mike? Song. Mike? Yeah, Mikey? Michael Jackson. Yeah, all yeah. Artists would, and they paid totally. like yeah. like I think it was Sony paid their estate like some crazy amount in millions of dollars for the rights to all those songs. Holy and stuff. shit! Think about how similar cunts like Bruno Mars. Sound to Michael Jackson and shit. Oh. Tell me, tell me they're not he using that shit for ghost. No, they're, they're, they're not similar. I'm saying the songs and like okay, the pacing of songs, them. I, tell me yeah. they don't use that shit to ghost write songs nowadays. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, there's I think, a couple artists out there. You think about it, you're like, that'd totally be a Michael Jackson. I mean, song. there's probably like yeah. one or two like good songs that was unreleased, but the, the you know, I, I I just don't know. If Sony probably got it. They were like, mm, well, I don't know if we could use that. I like kids. Song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sony Sony's like buying them to protect the legacy of Michael Jackson. Because like half of those thousand songs like mm, it's I like just it's, a child. it's like it's like it's like working working it's like working title. It's just like I like kids. Oh my god. I mean, it's work in progress. Or, still or, 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 or it's all true. It's all, it's all true. If I did it. <laughs> if I did it, this is how I would have done it. But I didn't do it. Billy Jean is not my lover, allegedly. <laughs> um no. Look, Michael Jackson is a is a great artist. Nah, I and, love him. And, He's uh, the man. Like looks let's be honest. Did some pretty cool shit. And who's to say? I think honestly it's a tragic story, Michael Jackson. Yeah. I think it's a, oh, yeah. it's a tragic story. I watched the Neverland documentary. I thought it was kinda Likewise. like Honestly, a little bit disgusting, like the documentary mm. itself. I don't, I don't know shit, but uh, all I'm saying is, it's Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> like, what's the right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, he's dead anyway. <laughs> so yeah, who cares? Let's let's let bygones be good bygones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's focus on the real, the real criminals. In like the world. Bill Cosby, he's still alive. Hey. Fucking asshole. Bill Cosby. I hey man, you a... did give people free drugs. Mm. That was horrible. That is That's true. horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> that horrible. That's almost instant regret from that leaving my mouth. <laughs> has anybody has anybody ever watched the show? No. The Cosby oh, show. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I love yeah, it. He's like, I got, I got the jell of pudding, and I, I'm gonna put a quaalude in this woman's drink. I'm gonna be the beat that up with the beat Yeah, it's good. Oh, Bill man. Cosby's great, dude. Holy Bill shit. Bill Cosby. Yeah. To man, to be alive back then. Pre-internet, that'd be some crazy shit. <laughs> yes, it actually yeah, would be. To yeah, be yeah, it's powerful. a lot harder. A lot harder to be accused of misconduct. Yeah, without yeah. Twitter. Without, without Twitter. And yeah. phones being like, "Fuck, he's putting something in a drink." Was that like really yeah. common, like the rock star era of like rock? Like, there's tons of sketchy shit mm. going on, but they just couldn't report on it. Yeah, so many 100%. of like the biggest musicians, underage groupies. If it wasn't <laughs> underage groupies, it was some other shit like hitting their wives or like just a domestic yeah. abuse. Mm. Yeah, but that's the 50s. It's okay then. <laughs> it was expected. Yeah. The 50s were fucking hit, bro. I swear, take me back. Imagine being a famous <laughs> rock star. <laughs> like, you've got to have <laughs> the Cold War. Yeah, dude. The 50s. Take me back. 50s, wonderful. <laughs> take yeah. me back to Cold War. America. Yeah, dude. Ooh, 19, it's 1954. Constant fear. Yikes. I got to keep up with the Joneses. They're building a, they're, they're building a nuclear fallout shelter in the backyard. Yeah, I got to make sure I, I, get, I get the business on that. <laughs> That's what they would have sounded like. <laughs> And they oh, all sold shit. spark plugs. <coughs> oh, what's this, honey? Tuna casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck down. You Where are the kids? Are you, are you trying to get a lobotomy? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a lobotomy or not? <laughs> You're hysterical. Why are you crying? Oh, I just hate you. <laughs> Sober up, would you? You're Holy a mess. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Uh, Here, have another cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Imagine being a rock star in like the 80s. Like, oh, in the 80s? Back then. Like you're a god, you know. Yeah, yeah. so hard to Although, get famous. Even even like rock stars now, like they must have people yeah. just trying to fuck them every single night, you know. Yep. Mm. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, it's usually through lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, fuck that's them, true. Fuck them legally. Yeah. 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 I wonder how common it is for uh, artists to have like for artist management to be like, yeah, every time you 
have sex with someone, you have to make them sign an NDA. Oh, I'm not a comment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think. No, no he's not coming. I've heard all. of artists doing that though. I can't I've remember heard of which it, one, yeah, but, but it could be bullshit as well. Yeah, she was kind of shady. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I guess it's yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it'd be very um, difficult at that level to not like think like, oh well, even like just having any sexual experience with anyone, they now have a story. Yeah. You know? Exactly. If it goes well, about that or shit. it goes bad, or maybe something crazy happens during sex that just you didn't expect, like... You shit your pants. You shit your pants. Yeah. That, then they now know that they about that. you. Yeah. And, you know? and, you know, and it's not <laughs> so, even a shitting point that's weird. The, the point that'd be weird is that you kept your pants on during sex, and that would be the scoop. TMC would be on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but also, there's, like, the other side of it, where, like, <clears throat> if you fuck a celebrity, and, like, you have proof that you fucked them, like, you know, you could lie out your ass about that. Look, I know? have herpes. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, could yeah. just Me. say anything bad you want, and people are probably going to believe you if you've got some sort of evidence that you're with them. Or if yeah, you just tweet it and don't have any evidence. I don't know. I mean, really, we need to stop. We need to stop just believing shit without evidence. Yeah. <laughs> to be frank. Like, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. The court of public opinion is a pretty fucking stupid court. Stupid mm. court. What's that? Full of stupid people. It's when it's when you you throw out like a basic a, like like a like a like a baseless accusation yeah. and and just lie mm -hmm. and then it catches on and then everybody assumes uh, it's true right, and then everybody yeah. starts shitting on someone like on social media. It's it called canceling. Yeah. And then blah 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 blah. But you know, who fucking cares? Yeah. Mm. Like if 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 something really bad did happen, like you, you police, by, police, like, the police, like yeah. and actual investigators, and then you go to court, and then you're either guilty or not guilty. Assuming guilt yeah. is mm. pretty stupid. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are instances where the actual justice system doesn't do its job properly. And yeah. Maybe sometimes there are, there are gaps in the story that just can't be yeah. filled, and terrible things do happen, and people don't have the evidence to prove it. But you know. You know, tough shit. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a, it's an issue. It's a sketchy one. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible on both sides. Terrible on both sides. You know, it's the whole thing. A lie could spread across the world before truth is taken its first step. Mm. Like, and and as soon as someone hears a lie that's really fucked up, that's like the first thing that comes to like, their mind. Oh, when it's they hear like the it's like shame. putting the word allegedly w in front of an accusation. It, it, yeah, Michael it, Jackson allegedly fucked the kids. Well, like yeah, that's yeah. It, the thing is, it's still damaging yeah, to exactly. the reputation when you have when you have something scandalous it, it, that could be completely untrue, completely completely unfounded. Yeah, mm. and, and and somebody says like you know. Uh, McCreamy sexually harassed me on Fortnite. Here's proof. What and then the it, fuck? And then it's like that's true. Uh, and then it's like an account called like McCreamy one two three. Yeah. And it was just some some it was my some it wasn't me. Just get yeah, on with it. Just some other shit. Like, yeah, no, I know and and then you get accused for it, and then everybody believes yeah. it, and then McCreamy allegedly sexually harasses even that's minor. bad and then that's the it's first horrible. thing that comes up when you google mccreamy and that's not even true you know it's, yeah that's the exactly it, it's it. like yeah. a stain it's a stain that can't be washed and yeah. there will always be some 14 year old fucking idiot that that still thinks that's the truth yeah and yeah. and they'll still talk about it they'll still run with it and they'll still hold these fucking opinions mm. and the mm. negative stuff like the outrageous the outlandish stuff is is the stuff that gets like most popular so like you know if someone comes out with a with negative things about someone and then the other person has a response the negative things are probably going to be the things that are like at the top of the algorithm and shit because that's mm -hmm. the thing people want to hear about yeah mm -hmm. well that's it. it's what drives clicks and it's what drives yeah. views and it's what drives money mm. which is why i hate the media because yes. it's always it's always like you know and this is why we're starting our own news company misfits <laughs> media misfits news. misfits media well, we, <laughs> we have a we're gonna have a uh segment a, a, a new segment every start of the show from now on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just fabricated. Yeah, we just have to make it up. This is all oh, I heard. This <laughs> it's not all alleged. So, <laughs> so allegedly, Doctor Disrespect <laughs> got banned on Twitch for oh, okay. allegedly. I thought you were going to disrespect right, say our generous leader. Yeah, yeah, disrespecting, just disrespecting. Good sponsored job. by the North Korean state. No, <laughs> um, no, yes. wild. The issue is wild. Yeah, man. People do be retards. Media, media is everything because, uh, because media is, it's, you know, we consume it all the time mm -hmm. and people love consuming content. Yeah. Nothing, nothing hits better than a good bit of content. And there's an infinite amount of it. And it's part of human nature too, that when you read a headline that invokes either 
uh, anger, frustration, sadness, outrage, that's going to be the thing that they click on as opposed yeah. to, you know, if, if, if two people were given two articles and one is fireman uh, saves kitten from tree and then the other one is um, fire, fireman fire, rapes kitten. Yeah, fireman, <laughs> rapes, <laughs> fireman rapes kitten in tree. You're going to yeah. click on fireman rapes kitten. <laughs> no, first you're, you're going to say, oh, I can't believe this. And then you're going to read the headline and you're going to tell your friends, you hear about that fireman that raped the kitten in the tree? What is the world coming what to? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Apparently kittens. And then it'll spread. <laughs> But if you read the article, then the first word in that article is allegedly. Yeah. No, uh, or, or the first, or, or, or it's, it, it was a typo. Or it was a misunderstanding that the kid actually raped the fireman in the tree. <laughs> and it's just uh, one of these like gender assumptions. Yeah. You know? yeah. Just because he's a man doesn't mean he raped the kitten. Kittens have power too. All right. Don't let him fucking get the best, UJ. I know you got I'm a couple gonna, cats. You got a cat as well. I do. I do. I'm not going to let it Listen, happen. I'm not going to yeah. let it Don't happen. just be careful and, sl and sleep with a closed asshole. Look, that's all I'm look, saying. I will. I'm, I'm, I'll do that. I'm get not... an asshole plug. Yeah. <laughs> what do they call those? Uh, <laughs> asshole plug. I think they call them corks. Uh, bottom uh, cork. Yeah. Bottom cork. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you should have had those when you had food it's poisoning. Like uh, a rectal uh, anchor. A rectal <laughs> anchor. A rectal anchor. Damn. That's or hot. an anal anchor. That's even better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you mm. need the alliteration. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. fucking lutely Absolutely. Listen, content creation is the future. Yes. Soon, all our jobs will be replaced by machines. Yes. And the only <laughs> avenue, and the smartest <laughs> avenue to make a lot of money is going to be either investing or making content. Whether yes. it's on OnlyFans or YouTube or TikTok, influence, or get followers, make content, Clout. get people paying attention to what you yes. what you have to say. Do a little dance to a song. Yes, you know, mouth some random words, impressions, do a, do a couple algorithms, impressions, comments, algorithms, likes, comments, comments subscribe. subscribe, drop out of middle school, drop out of middle school. Mm. College is useless. It's a scam. It's a Don't scam. do it. Your job is going to be replaceable. Yes, you're nothing. Give give into the content machine. Yeah, fuck you, pussy. <laughs> You're only as valuable as your, as your social status. It is interesting. I've been thinking a lot about this. And, you know, to be fair, this has always been a phenomenon because sex sells. But I think with OnlyFans in particular, it must be kind of wild. And I'm going to use women in the example here because it's primarily women, I think, that are like, mm -hmm. you know, capitalize on OnlyFans. But men do it too. And like all kinds of people are free to do whatever they want <laughs> on OnlyFans. But yeah. it must be wild, like, leaving college in debt and knowing that the best chance that you have to pay it off quickly it's probably by getting the pussy out on OnlyFans. <laughs> like, yeah. let's be real. Like, that shit, fuck. that shit works. Like, that shit gets you rich, like, yeah. if you if you know how to do it properly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if you're comfortable, <laughs> the, the worst part is I feel like the best way to grow on OnlyFans quickly mm. is to post it somewhere that, you're, that, like, people you actually know can see. Because mm. I feel like they're the people that are going to be most likely to be like, yeah. Hmm. I, yeah, I'm you know, interested. I would, just, yeah, this. Like, I would like, just go with this person. You know, Fuck it. Yeah, I'm going to see what like they look like naked. And all that. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your, your dad's friends. I, oh, that's fucked. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I, and for the record, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I think everyone should be free to do whatever they want. I just think that it's interesting how it must be in the minds of a lot of people to be like, oh man, I need some money. All right, well, I mm. kind of got this degree. I'm kind of along the debt. Jobs aren't really that available. What am I going to do? Like, how am I going to make money? I guess I could get a job. Or that sounds really hard. I or, could flop out my pussy lips. <laughs> I, I, or I could get that 12-inch dildo that I found in my closet when I moved into this place <laughs> and bounce up and down on that boy for like a few thousand dollars a month. I, I do think <laughs> that uh, the amount of money people make on OnlyFans is exaggerated. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there's yeah, we obviously You only hear it. about like the top yeah. 1%. Yeah, I reckon right. it'll be like the top 1% makes over $1,000 a month and the rest surely makes like, not, like very, very little. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, that's when you just get into the attention game online. How do you get attention? How do you get people noticing you? Yeah. How do you get, so, how do you get viral? Now we're going to teach you how to grow on OnlyFans. Okay, so first of all, you want to... You want a Twitter, an Instagram, a Twitch, a Snapchat. You want every social platform. And you also want to be attractive. Attractive in some way, shape, or form. Or just desirable in any... Or just or, use Photoshop. Or, or interesting. Yeah, you could use Photoshop. And then you want to mass follow rich people. So YouTubers. <laughs> YouTubers yes, are hang all out horny with them. fuckers. Yeah. Hang out with YouTubers. Be in the background of their stories, mm. etc. Mm. Get a few thousand followers. Be a little conservative with the pics, though. Yeah. Maybe make people want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Don't be a whore on, the, on, on your free platforms because people are going to be like... Oh, I can just get it for free. Got to play it slow because novelty mm -hmm. sells. Yeah, exactly. people want the novelty. They you don't... know, people want to fuck a virgin. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs>
Yeah. Are we getting a percentage of anyone who actually makes it from the from these tips? Yeah, this is a life advice column. Yeah, we're getting ten percent. We're getting ten percent of everything. We own we're you tracking now. It. Would, you, you, the would podcast, you imagine? We own you. Would you imagine doing? Now this is just a complete hypothetical. I don't think anyone only would, fans would, content house. No, no. <laughs> now we can apply. Imagine like a management <laughs> company that that like like finds very pretty women that are already kind of doing sex work, and then they grow their brand and take a percentage. Like essentially, that's being, probably a thing. That's, that's probably that's a hundred percent like, a thing. Like being this is next like, generation pimping. Yeah, it's a virtual it pimp. Yeah, it is twenty twenty pimping. Hundred percent a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's why that's what Mr. Beast does on the side, because he's all about his analytics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got like a whole little side harem of yeah. Al allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Mr. Yeah, Beast Burger. I just realized that we actually know him, and we can't actually just say that. No, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't worry. He well, doesn't. I, I just made he's... that up. Jimmy doesn't do that. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go out and buy a if I was Carl Jimmy, style burger now. A Carl style burger. <laughs> I wish they had it in, in Australia, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't want to try. I'm it. missing Mr. out on Mr. Beast Burger. I Mr. thought Beast it was going to be Audrey. like a like a one day stunt, like a pop up shop. <laughs> no, it's yeah. still fucking going. Yeah, he's just yeah. making money. It's crazy. It's impressive. Yeah, it, he saved so many businesses by doing that too. Like eleven businesses that were going under that he said, like, hey, just make these burgers and do through the app, and people people started buying from the business, and the business oh, started yeah. generating mm -hmm. revenue because these were existing restaurants. Okay, uh, which is why like the quality in different states or whatever was uh, was like you know wishy washy because it's different people yeah. in different restaurants making it. That's mm. smart. Yeah. Smart way of doing it. It, it is. And mm. it fucking helped out all those people. He said he's going to die in, he's going to die when his bank account reaches zero dollars. Like he's going to have zero dollars in his bank account when he dies. Is that why he's got like so many different uh, revenues of making money so he can just be immortal? <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> is that that's smart. Because he like, he's he like figure, figured out the ultimate algorithm to yeah, life, maybe. the life algorithm. <laughs> Man. You know, you know, that's actually probably true. This yeah. is a completely different thought. When can we start investing in YouTubers and like content mm. creators, like stocks? When can you yeah. get it? Oh, that's so toxic. I know, it's terrible. That's I would, put I, so much look, pressure yeah. on a creator too because people's <laughs> livelihoods, people like put their, uh, hey dad, I'm taking out another mortgage. Either either, either you're fucking in the streets or you're either no, going to be put in a retirement no. home or you're going to be living lavish. You get in some drama, everyone just immediately starts shorting your stocks. <laughs> shorts your fucking <laughs> stocks. That would be, Holy dude, God, people would, would it, like, suicide that, rates would go that. through the roof. You know, you know how toxic uh, fans of esports and sports in general yeah. get when they, yeah. their team loses when they bet on it mm. it'd just be that next that. level Fuck your Dude. videos are trash now I, I invested in you bro yeah you'd have people like Health actively so trying to like sabotage other YouTubers yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. do not bad idea bad, bad idea, idea. But, I don't even know if that is that shit even legal like it's, it's gambling it's, it would have to be like a, under a gambling so. ring yeah. basically because it's not like it's going to be a legitimate free market yeah. or anything like no. that um, Fuck that, yeah, dude. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's just like you, you put bets on when YouTubers gonna hit milestones yeah. against each other. That's so fucked. Well, that's the thing. Place is a bet that, when you think like, Fitz is gonna upload. <laughs> yeah, you place bets <laughs> on a date. One returns. Fifty-five <laughs> days. Fifty-five days. It's been. I I just don't upload. Instead of trading. Get out of here. This <laughs> <show>. <laughs> um, but you know, like. You know, investing is just mm. effectively betting on corporations, right? Yeah. yeah. So all you're doing is taking that down to an individual level. I well, mean, it does like loosely uh, happen in that there's things like, you know, Team Ten and stuff. Mm. Like that, they're, they're getting investors. Yeah, they get actual investors to help them. And I mean, I'm sure there are heaps of YouTubers that mm. you know want to do these massive projects and can't afford to do them, so they yeah. they have investment. But, but that's not that's not like a yeah, I know an open market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Yeah, for you like to make a YouTuber go public on the stock market, that'd be wild. <laughs> but I guess like technically they are a business. PewDiePie. Yeah. You know? Like all these YouTubers have businesses yeah. that they operate under, presumably, if they're smart. So, you know, maybe we will see that happen someday. Believe me, no one wants this less than me. I'm like the most anti this shit ever, but <clears throat> Jesus. Just something to think Crazy about. That that's a possibility. Something to think mm. about. Yeah. Personally, all my money is in the North Korean government. Yeah, yeah. of course. Supreme leader. A supreme mm. leader. All of my always. money goes directly to Kim. Yeah. Uh, and then he chooses how to divvy it out because, yeah. you know, I, why should I be in charge of my own no. income? You oh, know? you're not descended mm. from demigods. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. he's smarter than me. He <laughs> he knows how it should be divvied. He knows best. Yeah. I wonder what he does in his free time. Mm. He probably eats. Yeah. Do you reckon he gets many bitches or? 
Like, because he's the supreme leader, you, you feel like he'd get, Weirdly, like, that was where my mind went. Yeah. Do you reckon, like, do you reckon know, he gets like, many bitches? I want, I'm actually curious. Like, I, re- I reckon, All right, he's come the supreme on. leader. Right. Right. Does I'm Kim Jong-un yeah. get, get many he gets bitches? supreme ass. Does like, he have a wife? Kim Jong-un. Um... I believe. I Maybe. think he try, I think he tries to yeah, keep he, the bloodline. He does pure. have a wife. Uh, so uh, Risol, a Risol Jew. What's she look like? Um, Maybe then. I don't know. Is she hot? Uh, Is she the one that's like actually in charge behind the know, scenes? Then, like, <laughs> I would. I would definitely smash. <laughs> Just smash your past like, Supreme not because, Leader edition. <laughs> because is, I'm going to die. I'm going yeah, to get murdered in my did. sleep because I just said I would smash. No, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a respect thing. You yeah, know? it's a respect. Like respectfully, I would yeah, smash. Yeah, because Kim has the best taste. Yeah, and like maybe yeah. if, if the only way I would ever smash is if Kim was into it and he was like, we, "Look, this is my thing." Obviously, people at home, you know, don't go around calling him Kim. We're on first name basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Un, Mr. Supreme Leader, mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Supreme Leader. or <laughs> Jong Un, if you want. On on Wikipedia, it says uh, spouses, Riso, Zhu, you know, okay. Yeah. And then it says children, at least one to three, allegedly. Oh, <laughs> but I guess no. they don't know, do they? Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. There's that word again. I, mean, I reckon he's got more. Kids. Yeah, he's got to like, have hella kids. Yeah, I mean, like. He needs to. Sex, sex is. Uh, to keep the bloodline uh, going. Yeah, like, not, many, not many people are free of the. Uh, uh, you know, power of sex that it has over individuals. You know, yeah. Yeah. Kim Kim gets horny. Yeah, you know, and he may not pee or poop, but he does come. He does come. He does come. <laughs> he does he does my come. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know it. I don't know. It's hard to say. So, yeah. like this documentary you watched, just like, getting back to it. What was um, your What was your total summary from it? It's just It's just scary, mm. like how different it is to what we all know and. Yeah. How close it is to South Korea and how like opposite it is. It's just so odd. Is it there is... a big wall? No, no. <laughs> I don't really know much about it's it. Literally, just like a little border. Like I guess it, it, it is, is scary. DMZ. It's scary because like I think when you watch those documentaries, you realize how far away we are from reaching such a paradise. Yeah, as a yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? absolutely. Like you kind of realize like, like the oh, color, we're... the gray colors. The... <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. like it reminds me of Fallout 3, which is one of the best games ever made. Great yeah. game. Well, Gray and green and mm-hmm. devoid of devoid of life. Yeah. The thing is, if all countries, you know, just said, you know, we're gonna get one really good architect and get them to design the whole country, then we'd have some really nice, pretty uniform countries. You mm-hmm. know? You could go to a country and know exactly what it was just by looking at it. But for some reason, all these other countries give multiple architects the freedom to create what they want. Ugh. And it's that problem with our fucking society, is that yeah. freedom word. We don't need freedom. No, we, we don't, don't need, need creativity. Uh, what we need is strict rules. We need to be subdued. <laughs> we need to be dumbed down. Yeah. And we need to follow the leader. Yes. Okay? And let I them want take my care life to be Simon Says. Except Kim yes, Says. Yes, Kim Says. That'd be good at that game. <laughs> Kim Says eat a meal. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's move on. Yeah, Kim. yikes, dude! You can't Kim. say that. I we were we were in uh, Matt and I were down by the beach last night, oh, yeah. and uh, these cars drove past with massive signs on their roof. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, they were all um, saying bad shit about the Chinese Communist yeah, Party. Yeah, it's like and the mm. CCP, yeah. the evil shit. China's terrible. But see, yeah, mm. China's really bad. The thing I don't I don't understand <laughs> is that. Why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> bro, you just said China's bad. It actually legit is though. The China's got some fucked up shit. You know, going yeah, on. yeah, they got the kung flu. That's it. They, like the kung flu. <laughs> that's all they got. Like, China's got some good shit, but China, China got, fuck, some bad got some bad shit. Yeah, shit too. you know, hey, dude, like dude, quarantine was pretty, pretty like strict. I mean, strict yeah. well, as in they welded they, the doors they shut. Literally <laughs> welded people into apartment Wait, buildings. Wait, really? Yes, Holy they welded shit, doors shut. They burnt bodies in mass. Mass bodies was being burned in fields. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. you can oh, see it like shit. satellite. Okay, maybe that is a little shit. bit bad. Yeah. Allegedly but, or like real? This actually happened. This is real. Yeah. So it's not alleged. This is footage. Yikes. Yikes. Of the burning. I just, yeah, they persecute. Yikes. They persecute. I, I believe they're called uh, uh, Uyghurs? Uy- Uyghurs? You, you, well, what is you what is listen? This? It's it's like, it's it's like, like, like everyone that listens to the Misfits podcast, where we don't really know what we're talking yeah, about, we, but we kind of give do. it a go. We give it a good crack. Like, like we're so. just like you people, really. Like I we think don't. it's the Uyghurs. <laughs> what is that? What, what is called? What, what is like, happening? What the fuck is that word? What do you yeah. mean? U Y G H E R. I think it's it's like a, it's, I believe they're Muslim. Uh, I group. No yeah, yeah, the Uyghurs. Yeah, Uyghurs. Alternatively spelled 
Uyghurs. Can you get on? <laughs> uh, uh, like uh, Tur- Turkish, uh, Turkish <laughs> uh, Turkic, uh, yeah. ethnic group origin- originating from and culturally affiliated with the general region of Central and East Asia. Can you please get uh, Google to pronounce it for you? Uh, Is that a thing? I can certainly try. Can we try? Can give it I a can go. certainly try. I, I, I would love to hear how it's meant to be said. Uh-huh. Yeah, because yep. I feel like uh-huh. I'm saying it. Okay. Um, here we go. Where we got? Bit of an intro here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Just uh, Okay, that, that one, more, one more time. <laughs> that didn't really help. Uyghur or Uyghur? Uyghur. Uyghur. Uyghur or Uyghur? Isn't that like a white... Is... No, never mind. No, you should wow. stop right there. <laughs> All right, this has been the Misfits right podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for calling. please. Interesting. But huh. well, that's crazy. I didn't know that that was going on. Wait, what were you saying about them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We're trying to, trying to apparently persecute yeah. the shit out of them. Shit. Why? People is it a racial say, thing? Uh, yeah, it's something like that. Like Man. People compare it to genocide. Mm. But I, I don't know enough because I don't know yeah. anything. We None of us know, know anything. We literally play video games on the internet. Yeah, <clears throat> we gotta we gotta put a bunch of psilocybin in the Chinese water supply. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They, is they, are they all just like they all just break what is free. That? What it's, is it's magic mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, uh, they just they, they, yeah. they start tripping. They're like, oh shit, it's all lying. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Damn. That'd be wild. That yeah. would be wild. Well, I mean, I don't think it's that the the Chinese people necessarily. Uh, um, doing bad right i mean there's mm. a lot of riots and shit happening there mm. yeah well yeah. there's good people obviously and there's many people who you know I, I, there's just a lot of people in china okay yeah i guess you're right i'm not saying china's chinese people are bad taiwan was okay i'm just saying the government is really up to no good <laughs> in so, a lot of ways so we should i mean most governments are we but. should get the chinese government high the people can hang and chill mm. well they, the people need to be exposed to it too because then they'll you know their minds will, great they'll be like, China. whoa, why am I putting up with this? Yeah, you're right. You know, the all great right. wall of China. Let's cool. drug all of China. Look, Let's drug everyone. I think yeah. we're, I think we're, we're, we're not considering the fact that maybe China number one. Ooh. No, Taiwan number one. Taiwan, right. It's been proven <laughs> clinically in trials that yeah. Taiwan is number one. It's 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 been yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is a good uh, thought. North Korea. A good it's course. not a question. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah. thought. God, how God how long have we been going for? Uh, just an hour. Just about enough. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are you? Fuck. Why are you bored? No, Dude, I'm just we, really hard. <laughs> we know yeah, like hard, yeah. a lot. We know a lot. Yeah, we're actually very knowledgeable people. Yeah, if allegedly. It, if it wasn't apparent, we were actually we actually know everything. The only yeah. reason why we're also knowledgeable though is because the education education <laughs> system <laughs> so funny. in North Korea is so good. <laughs> yeah. The Supreme Leader keeps us educated. Yes, praise be. Mm. Praise be. All right, guys. Well, this has been the Mrs. Podcast coming to you live. Except it's not from. What's well, live to them? North Korea. I don't know. Uh, North Korea. It's always live. We're always live and well until we're not. We are alive. We're alive and well and well fed by our thankful <laughs> Supreme Leader. Why did we do this? I don't know. I, don't know. What a weird I was just talking about a documentary. We, I don't know. We like, are going to get murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, dude. If there's no podcast next week, you know why. It's because we got nuked. Oh. Oh, that's just. This is just. Fucked. That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's right. nervous. Good guys, we're the misfits. Michael Jackson didn't fuck kids. <laughs> North Korea is glorious. And we'll see Come you next on. week. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>